Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amrit Podel. I'm a PhD student at the University of Notre Dame. So today I'll be talking about our work, Navigating the Post-API Dilemma. Search engine results presents a biased view of social media data. Firstly, let me walk through the quick current developments that are happening in the field of social media as a whole. So in February of 2023, Twitter announced it would discontinue its free API access. Shortly thereafter, Reddit did the same as well. So this not only led backlash from third-party application developers who were using the Reddit data or Twitter data for their purpose, but this also had a major impact on the research community as a whole. As we all know, most of the computational science research is based on data that is collected from social media en masse, such as Reddit and Twitter. This non-sample data play a vital role in today's research. So not having the data impedes the research a lot. All right. So uh, data is used everywhere, like in the field of computational journalism, computational linguistics, event detections, follower networks, and many other fields, human psychology, human behaviors. So this lack of data is what has been dubbed as a post-API dilemma. How shall scientists continue their work without access to this non-sample data or without this holistic data as a whole? There are a couple of approaches, actually. One of them could be web scraping. But using web scrapers to scrape all the social media data is highly inefficient. And it's not a viable solution. And the second approach could be search engine results pages. Despite the cutoff, or despite the discontinuation of the free API services, search engines such as Google, Bing, they still have access to this social media data. They keep indexing these results every day. So our goal, or our initial thought was, can we collect data from, social, or from search engines, the social media data from search engines, and can we use that as an alternative to this non-sample data? So we explore the results that we obtain using search engine results. But the problem with this is how do we collect the data from search engine? It has a huge amount of data. But the law of large number tells us that if we can collect randomly sampled data, the mean of it would equal to the population mean as well. So here's the methodology that we used. First step was to collect randomly sampled thousands of keywords. And we do this using a stratified sampling approach so that we could uh, get the keywords from high to low level of document frequency spectrum. And the second approach, or the second method, was for each of these keywords, we would randomly sample the documents from non-sampled data as well as the data that is collected from search engines. And then third one, oh, I had the one thrice. But. And the third one is to do some data processing and for the last one, we would characterize any differences between the non-sample and the social media data. So as I've been uh, saying it again and again, this post-API dilemma, so these are some of the questions that comes up. So what is the coverage of the SERP data as compared to the non-sample data? Does SERP provide a random sample of the social media data? Or are the results biased in any meaningful way? Or if they are bi biased, can we characterize the differences? Or the nature of this bias. Again, the same thing, but here on the left-hand side, uh, we can see the data collection thing that we did. So for Reddit, we analyzed the data for the whole of January of 2023, whereas for Twitter, uh, it's from April of 2020. So just to keep in mind, the data which has a folder on it is the whole complete data, as well as the data collected from this SERP engine is just a sample data. So we characterize our differences based on four dimensions of analysis, one being popularity, token level, sentiment level, and topic level analysis. So our first goal was to analyze if there's any kind of bias presented in the search engine results based on popularity index. We measure the popularity in case of Reddit by using the scores. So in Reddit, scores basically means the difference between the upvotes and downvotes. Whereas in the Twitter side, 
we characterize our popularity basis on the bit on the number of followers. Like their search does does search engine uh, over represent or provide uh, some kind of curations to the users who have high number of followers. So in seeing that, we almost found no correlations between user or post popularity and rank from the search engine pages. However, it is important to consider this. There was no, co no rank correlation, but we did see that SERP returns scores that are stat statistically significant than the typical Reddit or Twitter post. And the second analysis that we did was on token label analysis. So here we employed an information theoretic approach known as rank turbulence divergence. I've skipped, I've skipped the mathematical reference here. I would ask you to please uh, refer to the paper for that. But what we find from here is that on the non-sample data, we are far more likely to encounter hashtag style terms along with politically salient terms, rephrasing President Trump, Trump's blaming China for the pandemic, and other terms with a generally negative connotations to it. Whereas on the search engine results pages, what we found was the term were much more positively inclined, or they were not much hardline, or they were not likely to instigate any kind of controversial topics. Such as if we see here, we see medical informations uh, or results that are coming out of government offices, which are highly authoritative in nature, and terms with much more positive connotations to it. So this is for the Twitter. However, in case of Reddit, or moreover, in case of Reddit, we kind of see, this, see the similar results as well. We find that Reddit-specific terms, like remove, comments, deleted, are far more likely to appear on Reddit compared to SERP. On the non-sample data, we find terms like Romo, Mahomes, Bengals. So these are all American football terms. Actually, uh, we had a, a final going on during January of 2023, so these are uh, pretty intuitive. And we, we, uh, one thing to notice here is that we highly see the political terms such as Trump, Ukraine, McCarthy, neoliberal, Republican vote, and a lot of posts or tokens which are vulgar in nature uh, in the non-sample data as compared to the search engine data. So this kind of leads us to think that there's some kind of, or there's a heavily curation going on in the search engine sides of it. So uh, since the token label doesn't have any context to it, or doesn't really calculate or uh, provide or consider the context that is related to it, we wanted to see if this holds on if we apply some kind of contextual embeddings to it. So we did a sentiment analysis to it, a very naive sentiment analysis, and did a topical coverage as well. So on the sentiment analysis side, we did see that Reddit returns, or search engine results, returns more positive posts as compared to the Reddit, and we could see the similar results with the Twitter as well. So we further took all these posts that we gathered from search engines, as well as the non-sample data, and then embedded it into a two-dimensional space. And what we found here, we, we, we manually kind of inspected. This was kind of a lazy analysis, to say. We kind of wanted to see if we could find any kind of coverage that search engine was lacking. And here, if we see the blue dots are from the non-sample data, whereas the red dots are from the search engine pages. So the gaps that we see here are the, um, on the right-hand side, if you, could, if, you, if you could see some of the posts, we see that much of them are like China lied, people died, or uh, posts relating to Donald Trump. So these were all suppressed in the search engine pages. On the Reddit, uh, we see the similar results as well. Uh, on the Reddit side, it is uh, important to notice that a lot of posts or a lot of comments or a lot of activities in Reddit are most likely pornographic in nature. There's a whole uh, plethora of subreddits which are just for that. So this kind of uh, shows us that search engine, the not every, the not, the not every communities, but they suppress a lot of these posts and a lot of these communities as a whole. So we, overall, we find that SERP generally censors Reddit posts that are pornographic, spam, highly political, and content moderation messages. 
Finally, uh, drawing conclusions from all of these analyses, we conclude that there's a collective bias in SERP results. The cumulative evidence from our analysis points to a significant bias. Uh, we also conclude that SERP cannot be considered a reliable substitute for the non-sample data. And we, uh, as always, if, uh, I mean, it comes from this analysis alone that we um, kind of caution all the researchers to uh, have some caution in drawing conclusions using the search engine data as a whole. Thank you. Um, I'll leave the floor to any questions, and I'm happy to answer it.